All right. Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends. Uh, and if you are a Muslim, uh, get ready. Your help is needed. Uh, I'm not sure why not too many yet online. Let us invite, guys, invite our friends, and I will turn up my Skype. And please, only Muslims, they can call us at least in the beginning. Uh, today, our topic is about how we can prove that Muhammad is a prophet. You know, one of the things the Muslims do, or they get upset from, is you reading for them what their prophet said. I mean, those people, they are so proud about their prophet, but the second you start showing them what their prophet said, they get so upset. Very interesting. Uh, today, I decided to, st uh, to talk about one of the enemies of Allah. And he is obviously very, very scary enemy. <clears throat> I think all of you, you know this creature, right? He's a small, tiny one. They are cute. And actually, they kill insects, spiders. And it's good to have them around your house. They do no harm to anyone. But this is not what Islam teach. Muhammad, he announced this little tiny animal who is in the side size of your finger, that he is the enemy of Allah. And all of us, we have to do jihad against him. Now, if there is any Muslim who is willing to call us and explain to us why this is the enemy of Allah. And actually, I heard that there is a Muslims, they claim that in this, in killing this uh, thing, there is a, a scientific miracle. Hmm. Do we have any Muslim? Who is a Muslim would like to give us a call? Let me check. Um. Let's see if we have any Muslims. Let us see. Maybe we can get some Muslims to be involved and they help us to understand the genius Muhammad. I mean, Muhammad, he must be a genius. Al Qaeda, ISIS, Mujahideen. Uh, actually, I heard that the Muslims they decide to make a team, it's called Dawah team, to go uh, in a jihad against. Uh, the salamander and against the lizard because they are the enemy of Allah and obviously I mean there is there is something behind this it must be something big if you are looking for a proof that Muhammad is a prophet I think we found it do we have any Muslim would like to call us Any Muslim, 
he would like to call us. And don't worry, like, don't worry, I don't have a lizard with me or anything. You know, I'm not going to use such a creature against you, my friend. Peace. Any Muslim can tell us why the Prophet, he said, we should kill this little tiny creature. Mm, I found why this idiot the chameleon he was blowing fire at Abraham I mean can you believe how disgusting filthy this creature is he was trying to make a barbecue out of Abraham He's wanted in other way, other way, other way, he is a dragon. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you are telling me, and Muhammad is not a prophet. What's wrong with you? Why you people don't use your brain? I mean, you see, I noticed that Christians, Hindus, Buddhists, Jews, uh, atheists, I mean, all of you have a problem. Only Muslims they understand the universe and how it functions. And the prophet, he announced that we should kill this creature because he is the enemy of Allah. Hmm. Hmm. I think, look at him, I mean, I'm actually already getting scared. How this guy, he hold him in his hand or this girl, this girl. Guys, did you see? Did you see this one? Look what this one have in his head. Unbelievable. Mean dangerous. Very dangerous. I mean, look at this. Look at this guy, how he look at us. I mean, look at this. And you are telling me that the Prophet of Allah, he do not know that this is an enemy and we should fight him. Somebody did report this to the White House or the Pentagon. Are we ready for such a war? What if Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Chameleon or Gigo, Gigo decide to attack us and we are not ready? Look at his eyes. I mean, you can tell this guy he work with the mafia. And you are telling me that the prophet is not a prophet. So we are trying to help you to find out why the Muslims, they believe he is a truly a prophet. Look at this guy. Look, look, look. He is so proud. Look at this. He is so proud and he is like taking a selfie. I mean, look at this. Uh, Shawan, you are right. Shawan, he said uh, that this is, he, obviously he is a Mossad agent. Actually, he looked like a Jew. Somehow he looked like the cousins of a Christian prince. I mean, how in the world you people are not accepting Islam yet? He is there dangerous. He is very arrogant and he's very proud. And look, he is looking at us like, what the heck? Who care who you are? Huh? Do you see me? Do you know who I am? I know who are you? If we call Zakir Naik and we ask him, why, brother Zakir Naik, why? Why, for the sake of the shin of Allah, the Prophet of Allah decide to kill this creature what Zakir Naik would say actually I cannot even imagine what he would say it's going to be extremely dangerous and it's going to show our ignorance about what's happening around us in the world we should fight 
all mankind they should unite together against this uh, and there is a company they call themselves a Geigo and they have this uh, creature as a symbolic shouldn't you Muslim shouldn't we be caught that company Geigo I mean how in the world do you do that Do we have any Muslim would give us a call? Huh? Any Muslim? You know, I'm afraid actually a lot of people right now they cannot hold themselves no more and they decide to join Islam immediately and take Shahada. Let us call Zakir and I. Shall we? I don't know I should call him using the cell phone Wi-Fi or Geigo network hello uh, assalamu alaikum I told you I told you 1,000 times don't call me uh, but brother we have a very important question and we cannot find somebody can answer it except you you are the person of knowledge you are a walking talking library okay I you know what I'm going to forgive you only I will give you only this opportunity and you can ask me one question not two not three go ahead uh, what about the Prophet ordering to kill the lizard mr. lizard and he think he is the enemy of Allah. Why is that? According to scientific discovery, and you can watch Discovery Channel, it said that. Can you call me later? Uh, why, brother? Because I just saw a lizard in the wall of my house. I'm going to kill it, and I will call you back. Uh, 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 brother, can you kill it later? Okay, I will kill it later. Uh, what was the question? Uh, why the prophet he ordered to kill the lizard? Do you have an explanation? Absolutely. The prophet he never speak from his own mind. He always get guidance and inspiration from Allah. So Allah he told him to kill the wizard. Uh, why? Why he wanna kill the lizard? First of all. Many of you are very naive and think that the leader is a very, very nice creature. Actually, me, myself, when I was a kid, I used to play with it. But after I became educated, I learned that it's extremely dangerous. Uh, but the lizards don't kill anyone, just eat insects. They never harm a human being. I mean, what, what this lizard can do? Have you ever experienced a fire in your house? Uh, not really. If you call the fire department, they will find and they will tell you that 99% of fire happened around the world, including volcano, it happened because of lizard. Because he is a small dragon. A lizard is a small dragon? Absolutely. If you open the mouth of the leather, you can even light his cigarette from his mouth. From the mouth of the lizard, we can light up our cigarette? I am telling you, you are ignorant, and this is why I don't like to talk to you. This is the proven scientifically, and it is absolutely true. Okay, uh, Dr. Zach and I, uh, can you make a video of you showing us the lizard? He have a fire in his mouth, like, you know? I am not going to make a video for a very simple reason. The Quran said in chapter 13, verse 13, that it doesn't matter what you do, they will not accept you unless you accept the religion. And because the Quran said so, I'm not going to try even to do that. Okay, what? How we can prove now that the, the Mr. Lizard is a dragon? I did not say he's a dragon, and this is a lie. Nowhere the prophet he said that this is a dragon, or what he said, it blew fire at Prophet Abraham, and this is proven to be scientifically accurate. So the lizard he blew fire at Abraham. I am telling you, if you go to Japan. 
They did a scientist his name is Yama. I killed lizard Yama. It's very well known. And actually, he subdicated his life to study lizard. That's why they call him. His last name is Lizard. You see, his name is Yama Lizard. I killed lizard Yama. Very well known. And he will tell you that the first dragon exit in this earth is not in the Lord of the Ring. It was in the Quran and it's mentioned in the Hadith. Okay, well, I look like I have to give up as long as this is science and we cannot say anything. So we have to accept that lizard is a, is a dragon. Absolutely. And I warn you, if you ever, 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 if I ever find a leather, come to my house, I will accuse you that you are behind him. Are you saying to me there is some lizard like Mossad agent or something? I did not say that. He might be a CIA agent or 007 agent, James Bond. Thank you very much. Don't call me again. Hmm. <clears throat> I mean, who in the world can deny those facts? When the prophet, he says something, it must be true. Proving scientifically to be accurate. Here we go. There is a scientist from Japan. His name, Yama, I do lie, Yama. And his cousin, Yama, I kill a lizard, Yama. Both of them, they prove that lizard is a very dangerous. And he blew fire at people. Let us read what the prophet he said about this story. <clears throat> Actually, let us find this one from Sahih Hadith. So the Muslim they will not say, <clears throat> "Oh, a Christian prince he is uh, quoting blah blah blah." Oh boy. The Prophet said, what the Prophet said? He, he who killed the Gaigo with the first stroke for him are ordained 100 deeds. And the one who killed it with second one, less than the one before him and the one who killed him with a third less than that mean it's not even only you kill the lizard and you, you, that's it no you get deeds a lot of deeds 100 deeds and if you kill the lizard from the second hit it is not the same as the one who killed it from the second hit. And if you kill the lizard from the third hit, it's not the same as the one who killed it from the first <laughs> first hit. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> And you are telling me the prophet is not a prophet of Allah? What's wrong with you? Not only we have to kill it, we have to be sure that we don't waste bullets. You see here, the prophet is very much into saving bullets. Oh, let us say go green. So if we kill Mr. Lizard from the first hit, Allah bless us three times more from the one who hit it, and he killed it after three hit. I mean, what's wrong with you? Why you cannot kill the lizard from the first head? Are you a fake Muslim or what? Do we have any Muslim? Anyone think that Muslims will call us to explain? Anyone?
Do we have any Muslim in the chat? Even lizard, <clears throat> excuse my voice. I'm not going to stay talking long today. My voice is not good. I was singing to the versions in my dream. I go into dream today, and I go like, and I was singing for version all night. I mean, I have 70 versions, and all of them they say to me, I like, we like your voice. Can you sing more? And the fool me was singing nonstop. So look what happened to my voice. <clears throat> So now if I kill this lizard, Allah will increase the number of my versions. So if I kill 10 lizard, how many version I will get extra? I mean, that's easy. Hey Allah, I have another idea. What about if I kill a lizard, you make my account, my bank account a full? I mean, we have bills to pay. What about you say if you kill a lizard, I will make your refrigerator full of food? What deeds will we get if we kill a lizard? What kind of God he says to you that if you kill a Mr. Lizard who is in the size of your finger, you are to receive, you are going to receive a hundred deeds. <clears throat> hundred deeds. I am truly, truly convinced that. Allah is God, obviously. Abu Huraira said that the Prophet said, Abu Huraira, by the way, uh, those who don't know Arabic, Abu Huraira means the father of the cats. The father of the cats. Huraira is the name of a cat. Like, you know, you spoil your cat, you call her Huraira. Huh? Let me spoil somebody who is here is a female in the chat who is a female in the chat give me one wolf well, we have a we have a muslim calling i think are you a muslim one, one. My friend answer is not answering. He who killed a jago with the first stroke for him such and such a reward, and he who killed it with second stroke for him such and such less than the first one. You know what? I'm very good in aiming. Uh, let me tell you how good I am in aiming. Last time I went to the a shooting field and I shot uh, 10 bullets I got almost 19 in my paper and now for sure many of you is going to ask me what you shot 10 bullets and you get 19 in your paper anyone knows how this happened miracle how this miracle happened I shot only 10 bullets how this happened I know it's very hard for you to understand with Jibreel my friend Jibreel it is Jibreel he put extra nine bullets in my paper the fact no there was two women they are practicing shooting and obviously their shots went to my paper this is how good they are I'm so glad that they did not shoot me so I shot 10 bullets I got my paper back I have almost I think 1970 I forgot and I was like what how in the world I got 19 bullets here? I, I look at my gun again, like what happened? How? It's a miracle. It must be Jibril. But the two ladies next to me, who uh, they are very professional in shooting, I mean, they were hitting the right target. This is why you, ne you should never give your wife the gun. She, a thief, he will come, she will shoot the thief, she will kill you. Like, oh, I'm your husband. Why you shot me? I was aiming at the thief. How I can? I mean, what's not right? It's, it's not my fault. Oh. Uh, so, do we have any Abdul? He have any idea 
what kind of a prophet you have and this is a sahih hadith so don't play the game with me says this is weak this is not a strong this is shish kebab this is falafel hummus we are done with that i assure you that there is no muslim will call to explain because they knew that this is stupid and they cannot defend their prophet anyone and what is the idea behind like if you kill him from the first time you get a hundred reward and if you kill him from the second time you get less reward like why any Muslim can explain to us what is the wisdom behind that hmm Oh boy. Anyway, the prophet for sure he is always successful in convincing anyone. And the easiest way to succeed in convincing people is to shoot anyone who don't agree with you. So if I am there right now and Muhammad he just said this. And I say to him, come on, man, who in the world want to believe in this man? Muhammad, simply, he will say, okay, we Muslims and we Islam, we believe that you are free to believe or not. I'm going to chop your head. Prophet, prophet, you said to me, you are free to believe. Yes, you are free to believe, but I'm free to kill you. Mm. You are very refused. Guys, somebody understand with this guy Fahim who called me last time and he was playing songs of love for me. What about you call me and you play Jig, Gaigo uh, 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 song, Salamander song? He called me before he started playing songs for me. Love songs. Very weird. Even girls don't do that these days. So do we have any Muslim here would like to convince us why the Prophet he is saying such a thing? Okay, hold on. We go back to the root of the story. The root of the story. Hmm. Hmm. Let us see the root of the story. Muhammad, he called, even he gave this creature a new name. He called him Al Fuwaisiq. What the heck? Al Fuwaisiq? Al Fuwaisiq is the one who do uh, spread uh, evil, he teach evil. I mean, look at the prophet is giving this creature a new title. I'm going to search in YouTube, see if we can find maybe this guy, he have a, like a teaching channel or something. Why the prophet, he called him that? Amir ibn Sa'd reported in the authority of his father. I like it when the Muslims say the authority. <laughs> in the authority of his father that Allah Apostle commanded killing the Gaigos and he called them the little noxious am I saying the word correctly guys excuse my English sorry creature me you see how many times the prophet repeating it's like he have a big enemy hmm Allah Apostle called the salamander a bad animal but I did not hear him ordering to be killed oh, obviously somebody else heard the messenger of Allah ordered a jago to be killed 
and calling it a little bad creature. The prophet called the salamander a mischief doer. What the heck? The salamander is a mischief doer? If, 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 if. Guys, do you think if we go to the most wanted names in the FBI website, we will find salamander there? <clears throat> what do you think? Are we going to find Salamander in the top list of FBI wanted list? Let me call the FBI. Hello? Uh, uh, FBI agent? Can I talk to a female agent, please? Well, I'm an Arab. I don't like to talk to males, please. What? Well, I have a very important news, but I'm telling you, we I am an Arab. We like to take to talk only to female agent, and she have to have a camera, and she have to be blonde. If she don't have that, I will not say a secret to you. Okay. And be careful; she have to be blonde. Yeah. Very blonde. Absolutely. If you can find me someone, she is a transparent. No, no, no. I'm not talking about you, FBI. You are trying to be transparent in your investigation. No, no. This is not my. I am. I'm asking you about the women she have. She is so white to the point we can see through the marrow of her bones. Yeah, yeah. You don't have that. Okay, I will hang up on you. I'm going to call the CIA. Maybe they have such a description. Why? Because you don't have a woman who can talk to me and understand me. The Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him, said that he, Allah, will give us women who they are transparent and we can see the marrow of their bones. And I want to see that before I go to, he to heaven. Why you don't have that? Aren't you uh, very white people? Huh? You don't have such a thing? Mm. Okay. My friend, Abdul, I'm a truly, truly convinced that your prophet is a prophet of God. And here we go. The FBI, they could not get any details from me because they cannot provide us what the prophet can provide. And you are telling me why we are converting to Islam? This is the only religion can provide us huris who their vagina never been uh, mm, 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 and uh, have wax on it and actually sometimes it might have even like a sticker it says uh brand new hmm? and in the top of that as you see the prophet he confirmed that those women they have special kind of uh, creation they are so white to the point to the point they are so beautiful, pure, transparent. Who can deny that Muhammad is a prophet of God? Nobody. How in the world we can ignore such a thing? Nobody can do that. Hey, brothers and sisters, my name is Muhammad Ali Hijab Burka, and I have a very good news for you. In the heaven of Allah, you will have a very beautiful, sexy female. You can see the marrow of their bones. And they will appear to you in many positions. I mean, look at this. That is what it's called beauty.
I'm just giving you an example, brother, at what you will find in the heaven. A lot of those females who you can see through the marrow of their bones. And for sure, this is a proof that Allah is God and Muhammad is a prophet. Who in the world can deny that the prophet of Allah is a special prophet? We cannot. I mean, you can deny for a day, for two, for three, for four, and then what? Then you give up. You have to give up. Hello? Hello, Christian Prince. Uh, yes, how are friend. you, brother? God bless you. Um, I'm fine. I have uh, one friend. Yes. And he's a Satanist. He Satanist? believes in Satan. Okay. And what uh, can you like and why speak about why uh, why you make why like, you take him as a, why you take him as a friend i mean what kind of a friend do you want to take my friend <laughs> uh, no no uh okay. before i don't know he was a satanist you know okay okay let him talk to me so, so no because he don't uh, speak english but uh, oh, he don't speak english oh. you, like speak uh, about satan and uh, what is his language uh his language is german German. I, if tell him if you want, I can speak to him the Satan language it, uh, the, in Arabic. You okay, don't but can you like uh, explain about uh, Satan and uh, my friend? Will, there like, is nothing to explain. Like I mean, that. if somebody believe in something evil, he is evil. Obviously, he have a mental issues. I believe that some people they might do that because they are trying uh, to be noticeable. Uh, let, let me tell you what what I mean. Uh, if you dress differently. Okay. <clears throat> People will talk about you, right? Mm -hmm. uh, same as some people, even they convert to Islam. Like say somebody, uh, he was one day famous. People they care for him, and then suddenly nobody care for him. So what he do? He he do something extremely stupid, and then suddenly everybody he's in he's in the spot. He's under the light again. Like there's a woman. She was an actor when she was young, and then she took naked pictures of herself in the in her 86 years old look really yes. I mean disgusting but because she is seeking some attention and I believe this guy he don't believe in Satan I think he is just having a mental issue seeking some attention so you and me will talk about him and I will not give him this pleasure okay uh, but this person believes that uh, Satan uh, like created life and he saved him from death Okay, I'm just and, uh, I, 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 he know. saved people, I think. Right, right, okay. But you see, uh, I think all what he is doing is just trying to get some attention. There's many kids that grow up in an unhealthy way in their families, and then they try to oppose whatever their family stand for just to get the attention. And when he say that if, if Satan he saved life, okay, then Satan is a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so he don't believe in yeah. Satan at the end of the day because the Satan, which everybody knows, is not what he is talking about. So I mean, I mean, don't waste your time, my friend, and stay away from such a people. This is my advice for you. You know, okay. and you will see after some time, this guy he will turn to be a Buddha, maybe or maybe a Muslim, or then he will try to be Christian for two weeks, and then he will come back to be an atheist, and then he will become satanic. Those people are just looking for attention, and they have mental uh, uh, issues. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Take care. Thank you. Okay. It's good. Thank you. Bye. There is people who really suffer from mental issues, and this is true. And we pray for them to be, uh, you know, to be healed. But this is my I, what I notice. Somebody he lost the attention. Somebody he was. Uh, important and then suddenly nobody is talking about him so in order to get the attention back he do something extreme and sometimes sometimes extreme stupid you see uh, actors actors who uh, there is many TV station they speak about scandals for actors actors they like those news talking about them even if it's fabricated because that kept them in the spot of light.
they live to be famous they live to seek attention they make money from being famous so people they have a target in life and some their target they want to be a center of talk people talk about me if people are not talking about me I am unhappy and I believe this is start from Cerns and a very early age where a child he is ignored by his family so he grew up seeking attention which he missed when he was a child we have a person his name Abalaba Lala what is that Abalabal, 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 I will be uh, happy to uh, to hear you, my friend. Call me, and I promise you, uh, I will not unleash my salamander at you in any time, anyhow, during your conversation with me. I will send my salamander to take a vacation in Hawaii. Do we have any Muslim here? Hello? Anyway, forget about him. So as you see, when, when we see in Islamic books and we see the teaching of Muhammad, how in the world anyone can believe that this man is a prophet of God? I mean, obviously, you have to be mentally ill, suffering from mental illness. A little lizard is the enemy of Allah. The lizard was blowing fire to kill Abraham. <laughs> and Abraham, he was saying to the lizard, Salamander, please stop. Your fire is burning me. Salamander. And the Salamander, he says, no way. I will never stop. Please, Salamander, I'm dying here. Stop your fire. And Salamander is very stubborn. Are you kidding me? I will not stop until I burn your balls. Do we have any Abdul? Thank God I am not Abraham who is attacked by Salamander. Hello? I mean, look at this. You are a prophet of God and a group of salamander, they are blowing their fire at you. By the way, I have a question here. Uh, I will save this question for later. We cannot ask Muslim questions, by the way. If you ask a Muslim a, a question, he get offended. Islam is a religion. Anything you say to them, they get offended. Because this is the only way to silence you from exposing the stupid cult. Somebody said in the text, sound like a kid story. My friend, even kids will not accept that. If you kill a salamander in front of a child, he will be upset from you. What kid story? Do we have any Abdul? Hello? Hello? Who is a Muslim he want to take the opportunity and convert 900 people into Islam? Read this story with me, please. A woman enter upon Aisha and in her hand was an iron footed stick she said what is this Aisha said it is for this guy go because the apostle the prophet of Allah he told us that there was nothing that did not try to extinguish the fire 
which will harm Abraham. I think here that the typing is wrong. Except this animal. I mean, do you know how dangerous this story is? All the animals in the jungle, they came to stop the fire on Abraham, except guy goes. How evil. How disgusting. Hmm. So he told us to kill it. But notice here, the prophet, he forbid to kill harmless snake. Anyone knows why? Why Muhammad, he did not order, what, what is the harmless snake? It is the one which is not black. If you are a black snake, you are the devil. You are a genie and you are a devil. Do we have any Abdul? Any Abdul? Except, except the snake with two lines on its back. The snake which have a short tail. And guys, look at this science. This is snake. It is snitch away the eye sight and cause the women to have miss carried Muhammad he told them that those two snakes if a woman she look at them she will lose her baby because it is Satan so women who want to do abortion why you want to do that go to clinic and pay, pay a lot of money and by the way for sure I am against abortion this is not unwise joke we are just joking here why you want to go to the clinic and spend a lot of money just get this snake look at it it's going to cause you miscourage. Any Abdul? Who is Abdul when I explain the wisdom of the Prophet? Anyone? Nobody? I'm really disappointed. I thought many Muslims will call us and we will be flooded by phone calls and they will debate us and they will prove us wrong. I mean, I was scared actually to open my Skype to receive calls. Unbelievable. Anyone? No Muslims? I'm really, really disappointed. I thought we want to find Muslims who they are proud about their prophet and they are not ashamed, but obviously they are ashamed. This is why they don't want to call and they don't want to read with us. Otherwise, trust me, Muslims will be all over you to prove to you that Muhammad is a prophet of God. But this is very embarrassing and very stupid.
Anyone? <clears throat> Actually, not only Muhammad he said we should kill the lizard, for it is the enemy of Allah. But Muhammad he think, I don't know if I should say that to you. Should I say that to you? Let me uh, let me ask Jibril. Jibril, should I tell them that? No. Why no? Because then they will laugh more at the Prophet. Okay. Well, then I should tell them. Okay. Uh huh. All right. I got you. I got you. I tell them step by step, so they will not laugh a lot. Okay. I will do that. Look what the Prophet he said. We were in an army with the Messenger of Allah, S A W S F M A M wave. We got some lizard. I roasted one lizard and brought it to the Messenger of Allah and placed it before him. He took a stick and he counted its fingers. He then said, A group from the children of Israel were it transformed into animals of the land. And I do not know which animal it was. And he did not eat it. The Prophet of Allah at this moment he think that if he ate a lizard, he is eating a Jew. True story. Actually, uh, if you see any Jewish guy, you look at his fingers and you look at the lizard, you compare between them, you will find that the prophet is very much accurate. I mean, this guy is a genius. Who can beat Muhammad in his knowledge? Not only is a prophet of God, but he is so deep. He's like, he have the lizard in the front of him now, and he is counting his fingers. Let me see the fingers of lizard. Let us find a uh, a picture of a lizard with fingers. Let us see if their fingers is like the Jews, really. There's no way the prophet is making things up. Hold on. Uh, this one, his fingers are not clear. Uh, this one is not too much clear too. Uh, we want a picture which shows really um, Look at this. I mean, look at this. It is so clear that there is a lot of similarity between the finger of the Jews and the fingers of the... Let me zoom, let me zoom, let me zoom. I mean, how in the world the Prophet of Allah he is so deep? How he... Like, this guy, his brain is in different level. It is, it is something we human never experience. I mean, look at this. And I'm, I'm just guessing, I think those this guy, he was a rabbi, because not only he is a Jew, I mean, look, his fingers are not like 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 left and right, you know, like he's, and, and, the, and, and the thumb is going in the right side, uh, 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 you know, like in the other direction, because he's saying, uh, 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 auto stop, like he, he's a Jew, he will not spend money to take a taxi. Did you see? Let me, let me show you. Let me show you. 
he don't want to spend money to take a taxi so look what his see what happened to his finger from auto stop he asked like cars to stop in the highway this is explained why we find a lot of lizards in the highway they are Jews who don't like to spend money and obviously Muhammad is saying the truth I mean this is beyond this is beyond imagination I mean we have to be honest guys what's wrong with you this is proven to be true oh boy A 1.4 billion idiot believe in this garbage. Can you believe it? Can you truly, truly believe it? And hold on the drama is not over yet do you think we are done animal incarnation is mentioned in the Quran the Quran says that Allah he made the Jews pigs and monkeys if you remember you remember do you remember You see those verses? They confirm the same thing. Because the Jews, they broke the Sabbath, Allah, He transformed them into monkeys. Mm -hmm. And actually, I will tell you a true story, brother, which I saw myself. I have a Jewish neighbor. He went once to do fishing in Saturday. And when he came back, he opened the truck door and he put his feet down in the ground and I saw a feet of a monkey. To be more accurate, it was a chimpanzee. You see here in Arabic, in the English translation, they say apes. It doesn't say apes. It says monkeys. Literally, monkeys. In different verse, chapter 5, verse number 60, Allah said, not Muhammad for sure, Allah very smart here. He's higher than Muhammad in intellect and intelligence. Shall I tell you about those who, the worst of Allah, he put his curse on them? Okay, who? He made them into monkeys and swine. Let us prove our point because many of you do not want to believe due to your ignorance and what we can do okay look at this guy be honest with me don't he look like Netanyahu Benjamin Netanyahu when he was a, a kid I mean, it's obvious. Like, hello? What's wrong with you people? Can't you see it? I mean, why I can see it, you cannot. Obviously, if you cannot see what I see, you need to see a doctor to check your eyes. Please, brothers and sisters, we have to be honest. I don't think this guy is a Jew. I think this guy, I'm not sure really. I'm trying to remember why I saw him before. Why I saw him. Ah, this guy is a Jew. Here we go. 
This is not only a Jew, he is an Orthodox Jew. The Prophet Muhammad obviously is telling the truth. Unbelievable. Did you notice his hair in the side growing down? Did you notice that? Okay, you're trying to ignore the fact and you are laughing, right? Allah will punish you. Look at this hair. Look, do you see his hair? Can you explain to me why his hair is coming down here? This is a this is an Orthodox Jew. Look. And you are telling me that the prophet of Allah is not a truly a prophet. Eh. Well, try to resist that the truth. Try. I mean the try. You can try, but the truth is so clear. And many people will watch this video. And please don't forget to download it after we finish. I will not keep it in my channel. Just to be sure that all of you download it and Muhammad not only stopped here in the incarnation into animals Allah transformed the Jews and in, in, into animals even Muhammad he said that the Jews Allah he cursed them and he made them pigs <sighs> oh not pigs sorry we mentioned the pigs he made them rats what yes rats mean even the rats are jews look at this where is the hadith where is the hadith here we go first of all let me show you how the rat look like <coughs> Hello? Okay, let's see here. We have somebody trying to call. Hello? Hi, Steve. Hey, my friend. How are you? Very good. How are you? I'm all right. What do you want to say to us about our topic? What do you think? Well, I think it's hilarious, actually. You are uh, an ex-Muslim. I see that your text saying you're ex-Muslim, right? I am indeed, yes. All right. Why are you left Islam, my friend? Can't you see all the evidence the Prophet he is coming with? I know. I, don't, I just don't think I'm smart enough to, to be a Muslim, I obviously. Sorry. Did you take some vitamin? Did you check a doctor? You know? <laughs> I don't think any doctor in the world can help me. Oh, no, I can find someone. <laughs> There's a doctor. I you know she is a billy dancer. She can help you. Uh, she can convince you. She will give you black label, <laughs> and she will do some dance for you. And she will say to you, "I'm a virgin," which is absolutely not true. But she will make you believe in Allah right away. It sounds wonderful, doesn't it? I mean, I, mean, I know, especially <laughs> if somebody else pay for it. <laughs> so I you... actually wanted to a little bit away from this topic, CP. I actually just wanted to. Um... You know, you always mention about the pagan side of um, Islam, obviously, you know, with the black stone kissing. Mm. But I haven't actually heard you mention um, one of the most paganistic practices they have, which is Eid al-Adha. Mm. Now, that is, in my opinion, one of the most pagan and original pagan practices where they are offering a blood sacrifice to the gods or to the god in order to please the god. And when you ask a Muslim about this, they'll say, well, we're actually giving this food to the poor and if you say well how about you give the poor some vegetables or something else any other type of food that's not allowed you have to actually slaughter the animal to please god and that practice by itself is extremely pagan well you <laughs> probably know, the most them, original this pagan. Is story this is story the muslim they claim that they are doing that because abraham he did that but in fact in the quran it says that uh, uh, when uh, Allah, and this is a story supposed to be stolen from the Old Testament, uh, in the Old Testament, God, he ordered uh, Abraham as a test of God that he should slaughter his son, and then he obeyed, but he did not. So God here, he sent a sacrifice. If you ask the Muslims, they say to you, we don't uh, sacrifice, but in fact, they do sacrifice in order to be forgiven. To God, mm. as you say, they sacrifice blood to be forgiven, you know. Yeah, but uh, 
everything in Islam is either stolen from the Jews or from pagan practice before them. Absolutely, and that was actually the reason why I uh, decided to leave is because originally it started off with me. Uh, I was a very, very hardcore Muslim. <laughs> I prayed five times a day. I did the fasting. I read the Quran every Ramadan, all of that kind of stuff. And then um, I started to have actually having debates in uh, in school with some of my Christian friends, you know, thinking that I have the right way and I have the right religion and very arrogant about it until uh, they very clearly showed me some holes. <laughs> um, and I just realized that every time you just ask a question about anything to do with Islam, you just have no answers. Nobody can give you an answer. They either shout at you, tell you you're not allowed to ask this. You know, they try to scare you into not asking the question or they try to convince you that there's something wrong with your thinking. Yeah. And that's the problem. You know, they, they make you think that because you're using your brain, you're in the wrong. Yeah. So, so you, you know, left, I mean, you how left, ridiculous you left, uh, is that? You left Islam because you were watching my videos? Um, actually, no, no, I actually, I've been a, probably an ex-Muslim for about five, six years now. I'm okay. 32 years old. Um, but I stumbled across your videos because I watch, um, a lot of other stuff. Um, I'm not sure if you're aware, um, I'm not sure if you noticed my accent in Arabic when I spoke it, but I'm originally Egyptian. Mm. Um, so, you know, I'm not sure if you've heard of Sharif Gaber or, uh, Hamid Abdus Samad or, uh, yeah, I heard uh, any of, of these. Hamid Samad. Yeah, I heard of him. Yeah, Shari so I mean, these guys are making yeah. a huge impact. Uh, someone like Akh Rashid, if you've heard of Akh Rashid. Absolutely, Rashid um, yes. Yeah, fantastic, fantastic. And so, you know, your videos came up as recommended. I started watching you. Honestly, I fell in love with all your content. Um, your debates are just incredible. Um, I haven't seen you lose a single debate. And um, I do have one request, though, CP. All right. Um, Additional to the video, can, can you give us a Zakir Naik impression? Uh, later. <laughs> 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 All right, my friend. Thank you. I will go back to my topic. Hey, thank you for calling. Thank you so much. Take thank care. you. Take care. Bye bye. So, guys, uh, uh, the gentleman who called, he is an ex Muslim and he is an Egyptian, as he said. Uh, and as you see, uh, you know, people, they notice how stupid this cult and they leave. You know, just give them freedom, they will be out. In front of us, we have a picture of a rat. And I'm trying to prove to you that rats here is the prophet is not lying. Look at this rat here. Okay, here we go. This is additional proof that the prophet is telling the truth. Let us analyze this picture. Let us go to the hadith and analyze the picture together, side by side. The prophet said, a group of Israelists were lost. Nobody. Nobody knows what they did. I mean, look, the honesty of the prophet. He did not say, I know. Do you see the dignity? Do you see the true reporter of a news? This is not a fake news, my friend. He just said, nobody knows what they did. Honesty, dignity, truthful, true story. Right away, you will see the details here, bringing the truth right in the front. And the prophet said, but I do not see them. Notice with me here, but I do not see them. He is not leading you to believe in something. No, he is making you believe in it right away. And this is how smart he is. But I do not see them except... And here we have to put bracket around except look at except i mean there's no other exception that's it that they were cursed and changed into rats and now let us go back to the picture which is going to prove that the prophet is telling the truth this is a cheap jew he don't want to pay for his drink from a starbucks so what he do, he wait for people to throw their drink, drink, and he drink it. Absolutely genius prophet. Absolutely. Unbelievable. I mean, who in the world he can come with this? He don't want to spend money. And not only that, hold on. There is still more secrets in the hadith. Let us read together. 
Muhammad, he go, it looked like I think Muhammad, he used to work in CIA, he analyzed news or something like that. I mean, this guy is, you can tell he's a professional. It says, so except that the were cursed and changed into rats, for if you put the milk of the she camel in front of a rat, it will not drink it. But if you put the milk of a sheep is put in front of it, is going to drink it. Hold on. That rat, which we see in the screen, is not only a rat and it is a Jew, according to the prophet, it is a very conservative religious Jew. He is an Orthodox. He will never drink a she camel milk. So based on the prophet, the amazing teaching, there's rats who they are very, very religious, and they will never, ever broke the command of Jehovah. And they will drink only sheep milk. They will never drink the she camel. And this is coming from the mouth of the most wise, the most popular, and the most uh, uh, amazing person in the whole universe. His name is Muhammad Abdul. Who can beat that? Who? I am really, I'm out of words. Science prove that the prophet is telling the truth. NASA, they prove that the moon is split. I mean, how we can deny that the prophet is genius and he is a very truthful person and he is a person of knowledge. Can you, the Muslim, they will say to you, this is weak. Uh, this is not weak, by the way. It was Sahih Bukhari. Sahih Bukhari. Boing, boing, boing. Hmm. By the way, any one of you knows the story of the mice? In the ship of Noah? Okay, listen to this. Who is number one enemy to the mice? Cats. Muhammad now is going to tell us the story of the mice and the cat in the ship of Noah. I don't know if I should tell you this. I mean, this is too much information for you for one day. All of us, we heard the stories about two individuals. They are very famous. Their name is Tom and Jerry. But I'm not sure how many of you knows that Tom and Jerry, they were in the ship of Noah. Any Muslim want to give me a call and tell me what happened between Tom and Jerry in the ship of Noah? Hello? Any Muslim want to do that? Look like today we are talking only about animals. Hmm. Interesting.
according to Muhammad, when Noah was collecting the animals to take it to his ship, he had no choice but to find a cat. Why? Because he noticed that there is a mice in the ship. And now put yourself in the shoe of Noah. What you will do? You got all the animals there. Hey, by the way, they ask the prophet, peace upon him, how Noah was able to get the lion inside the ship. He said, Allah made him have a very heavy flu. <laughs> okay, let it go. But there is something very, very extremely important about how Allah was able to find a cat for Noah after he found that he have a mice in his ship, which can be very dangerous for someone who is going to go and he is going to, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, ride the ship for God knows for how long. The mice will eat his rice, will eat his food, will eat his cheese. I mean, this is very dangerous. So what Allah did, anyone knows? Who knows what what happened? Let us see uh, how many of you are following uh, my uh, my uh, uh, education. Anyone knows? Nobody knows. Man, you guys are very. You don't have a good memory. I feel sorry for you. When when uh, Noah he put the lion inside his ship. And he have a flu, as we said to you. Allah made the lion sneeze. And when he sneezed, guess what? Tom, he came out. Is it Tom the cat? Is it Tom or Jerry? I think Tom, right? This is the book of Al-Bidayah wa Nihaya for Ibn Kathir. I don't know if any of you have it in English. Value number one, page number 126. It says, لما حمل نوح في السفينة من كل زوجين اثنين قال أصحابه وكيف نطمئن أو كيف نطمئن لمواشي ومعنا الأسد فصلت الله عليه الحمى. So they said to him, uh, according to the story, uh, the, his companion, they said to him, how we can trust the lion to be with us in the ship? He will eat our animals. And they said, that Allah, he made him have a very bad flu. And it was the first flu ever to come to this earth. Here we go. Now we have the source of a flu. And then they complain to Noah that there is a farah. Farah in Arabic means a mice, little mice. Hmm? And it is hiding. And they said it's going to damage our food and our uh, furniture or our, our clothes. And then Allah inspired the lion, so he sneezed. Hachu! And then immediately a cat came from his mouth, and the mice hide away from it. Now, here, a lot of mystery is gone and for sure this is a true story i mean are you kidding me what's wrong with you imagine you are noah and you don't have a cat so allah he made the lion sneeze and a cat came out of his mouth and by the way look at this cat here she is looking like waiting for the rat or the mice to come out 
I mean, you can tell, right? You can tell. I mean, look at this. Uh, what a cartoon. Oh, this is the book of Al-Bidaya and al Nihaya by Ibn Kathir, the beginning at the end of Ibn Kathir, value number one, page number 126. Now, you know, Ibn Kathir, who came more than eight centuries after Muhammad, he tried always to, uh, you know, to filter and to deny, but they cannot. They cannot. Actually, we can find it even in Tafsir Ibn Kathir. If we go to uh, the, the chapter of Hood, uh, let us find you the chapter. <clears throat> All right. Chapter 11, verse number 38. Let us see if we can find it in English. But I don't think so. I think in English they will take it off. You will find it in Arabic. But let us try. 11, 38. Okay. See? It's gone. It's not here. If somebody have uh, the English, different English translation, let me know. It's gone. It's taken off. If we go to the Arabic version, we will find it immediately in the Arabic version. Right away. This is why I always I say to you, don't ever buy Islamic translation for anything. It is a fabrication. If we go to Tafsir Ibn Kathir in Arabic, and this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, as we see in front of us, you should see the story here. Here we go. قال أصحابه وكيف يطمئن أو تطمئن المواشي ومعها الأسد فصلت الله عليه الحمى فكانت أول حمى نزلت الأرض etc. and then the lion so Allah inspired the lion and he sneezed and the cat came out from his mouth and then the mice she hide So you look in the Arabic, you find it, you look in the English, it's gone. So we can say that the English version of Ibn Kathir is meant in purpose. There is no way they skip that by accident. Tons of verses and chapters always, they are missing more than 50 to 60%, sometimes even 80% of the interpretation in Arabic. So don't ever waste your money and your time buying an Islamic interpretation for especially, and I'm talking about those who don't speak Arabic, because simply they lie when they translate they don't not only they lie about the translation they take it off the whole thing is gone anyway my friends I think we have enough uh, for today. My voice is not really good. My throat hurting me. I think maybe I will have cold. I hope not. I don't get sick usually, but I am. I miss it. I miss to get sick. I mean, the Muslim they keep cursing me. I'm not getting sick. Why? I mean, can't I get sick like everybody? It's not even fair. Every have the every every citizen have the right to get sick. I mean, come on. Imagine you get sick and the versions they come to you in the dream. Allah inspire you to get sick. 
and you sneeze and the versions they come from your mouth unbelievable especially if the a virgin they are wearing bikini you know let us see some of the versions do you think those are the versions no I don't think so I mean what is my versions oh here we go the versions here in the middle they are ready they are wearing no clothes oh here here hold on so you sneeze the version they come I mean why why their heads is like this? What's happening here? I mean, I'm getting dizzy now. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Mashallah, Mashallah. So, let us hope, let us hope that uh, the virgins they will be there waiting for us after we convert to Islam. It's going to be very disappointing if there's no virgins coming. I mean, this is really not right. Right, I mean, this is after believing that the rat is a Jew and the lizard is a Jew and the lizard is the enemy of Allah and blah 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 and the pigs and the monkeys, all of this, and then we find what there is no versions that will be truly, truly a very bad news. I'm not going to stay longer, I apologize. I hope that's all of you people will download this video this video can be very important especially if you need somebody to learn and to see the truth to convince him that Islam is nothing but a bunch of rubbish stupid stories this is can be very helpful you have somebody uh, somebody here thinking to convert to Islam somebody in Muslims trying to fool him let him watch let him see the truth let him get educated Islam is the most stupid cult ever you can imagine and Islam only can win if you are ignorant and what we do here we fight ignorance all of us we are ignorant about something that is not a problem but it is a problem if we stay ignorant that then would be a problem especially about something very sensitive something can destroy our society people they want to do suicide mommy just because they want to serve a God who teach such such a stupid teaching so your life is in jeopardy your future your economy your security your society this is not about someone he is free to believe in whatever he want Islam is a very dangerous cult so don't think by ignoring it it's going to go it is not you have to take a stand and warn your society so nobody will be fooled and you will not have your child joining Taliban because somebody told him if you convert to Islam and this is the only truth religion you go to heaven be aware of what is in the plan and the plan is to use your kids against you one day thank you very much for watching and listening download the video share it everybody may the Lord bless you Christ is Lord, Islam is false, and we see you soon again. Bye-bye.